<laughs> 1 in 11. <laughs> You'll get there. I believe in you. Uh, we don't need Salamander round 1. I'm sure we'll find it again. We also don't need Renew round 1. I'm sure we'll find it again. The rest of these are... plausibly round 1 cards. Any TCGs IRL? Uh, not recently. I used to play a lot of Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh! That was where I got my start with card games. But since I started streaming, I haven't really had much time to... Also, like, the whole pandemic situation. But I've shown off my binders a couple times. Still got a collection. At least Dreamer joins the Salamander call. That's sweet. Such a cool deck building puzzle, too. There's so many ways you can try to build it. Like, how much emphasis you want to place on the round one package versus the, uh... The combo package. Not a lot of fun with the expansion. Much better than Master Mirror, at least. to the armor. Hey, you don't need friends to play DCGs. Just go to your local card shop. You'll meet people. That's one of the nice things about like physical card games. It's just an avenue to meet people. Like a lot of the bronzes so far. Are you weird? No, why? Yep, this is Salamander Renew. Yes, you have you made your offering. He's got another armor up, he over overfills the row. Yeah, yeah. It has not been a good year for game stores, for sure. How do you pronounce this card, chat? Heron <laughs> Kaduk. Iron Kaduk. Iron Kaduk. What's the funniest way that I can pronounce this wrong, chat? Are you weird? You can be weird if you want to be. Kadoosh. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Do we win? Is the game over now? Karen Couch. <sighs> there are some cards missing, but we'll find them. Um. I want the coins. How do I get the coins? I have to play. I could, can play the Aniromancy. It's like a Nero for street urchins. Game it once is free. Uh, Ale is one of the ways we can kill our own Salamande. You can also kill it with Hideout or Gellert. It's fallen really good. 
Uh, I had it in like the very first list. It's another card that's only good in the combo round. I don't know if you want more cards that are only good in the combo round. We'll see if we have trouble winning games where round one goes well. But I think the way you should build this deck is just maximize... Uh, the ability to win round one. I would just call it the Skelliger location. I would not try to pronounce any of the location cards. That doesn't... <laughs> nice. Nice. I call Jacques Jack. Probably. Whatever would tilt chat the most is probably what I would try to do. Going to need Roland, probably. I probably don't want an instant click on that. I don't want to do this. The coins for the second Salamander, it's sort of awkward. I don't care if the Sol dies. That's a card. Remind me at the end of the game, and I can try to get the list for you. It's finally Salamander time. I don't know, if the Scarabs die and Roland dies, I don't care about getting Arnegated as long as I get down Roland first. Oh no, I've had this built a couple days. I built the initial list on patch day, and then we played it a bit last night, and by a bit I mean one game. Probably spent the most time working on this list of any list so far. So I know I want Roland. Whoever Harvest Lee stays in these woods for good, got it. Failed unit? No, we'll have Soul Banner Abominations too. Besides the Gurney one, uh, I played the Viper deck. I think that was it. We've got another Iteran list, which I guess happens to be a Gurney deck too, by chance, that I want to play later tonight. Arnagod. Losers do a lot of shit. I don't think anyone likes the Viper deck because they think it's very good. He's scary with Flaminica, more viable with Dire Bear. Interesting. Might play it at some point. Best Northguard? Oh, who knows. Everyone's still figuring stuff out. Hmm. 
So just get this. Restore. On ironic restore. Now just try all of the grasses. Okay. Um. Wait, I want to veil like Roland, right? Squirrel, please. Squirrel is cheap. Squirrel does not exist. Well, this was fun. Mm. I have these ale charges. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. Nah, yeah, we're just driving through a tunnel. You might have just drove through a tunnel. Pride is all. I usually try managed. to get like eight hours, eight to nine hours. Um, I'm pretty sure I want to kick a combo piece. I don't even necessarily need that in round three. Where am I? <laughs> no, <laughs> my engines. Could actually get this patch? Yeah, I think so. I don't know, it's too early to say like what's actually good, but it seems pretty good from when I played it. This is so shit. Uh, really depends what you want to play. Uh, it's not on YouTube yet. Let me see if I have the link from one of last night's. I think this is the one that I played. Oh wait, this one has a surfer in it still. This was the list I started with. I ended up cutting a surfer. Because I wanted a card that was good in round one. I think this is over. I don't think I can win with the sand. Five coins. Let's 
It's an Exodia deck. Yeah, it's trying to be. It's pretty good. It's going to five this turn. IP engine in the game. No, and Dragalarva exists. Premium grade won't find any better. opinions on which CCG is best. Um, all the good ones die. <laughs> Not really. The imposter plus Hidoran for a full port of Hidorans? No. Sounds silly. This is why we're hoping that our opponent passes, and I don't think he'll pass, but I'm not mulliganing combo pieces. So we can still win. I wouldn't say we won yet, but we can still win. Kind of want the abominations, but this hand works. Probably gonna end up with narrowing for one. Just lead on this. Yeah, Philippa would be cool, but space is just so tight. It's like Philippa or play two mid-cost engines, and I'm pretty sure I'd rather have two mid-cost engines than a Philippa. Nah, I haven't tried straight up Piper Thin yet. I 
I played the Roland too early. I may have managed to make this game losable. Oh, there's no reason not to Gellert something. Salamandra Mage Tribute Overload? Yeah, maybe. That fixes everything, I think. If there was any worry, the worry's gone. No, it's not Roderick. It's a Salamandra. Salamandra's just as good, right? If I do this now, I'm safe from the Roland dying, and I don't think I lose. I think this is okay. It does kill my Scarabs early, but I don't think that matters. Let's just kill it to play around Heat Wave on it. Oh, did I just kill an Abomination? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Whoops. I'm so scared of this guy dying. Like, all the time. We'll see what his cards are. That might have just been a huge punt. Like, I'm pretty sure we win from here, but I may have punted. What do you got? Nothing. I'm lacking spender. Doesn't matter. Salamander is the spender. I don't know. I could tone down the poison package potentially. Well, we need more coins in exactly one context. Because if Roland dies, I'm kind of fucked. How's the deck feeling? Pretty good. Pretty good. If this deck wins round one, I don't think you do. I think you just die as movement. If you can, like, kill Gellert and Louisa, then maybe you can do something. But I'm pretty sure you just die. Yeah, just just win round one. <laughs> they belong to me and me alone. Uh, 
Yeah, that's why I liked the uh, the Elf Swarm deck for movement. Because you still had a short round package if you had the push rounds too. Hey, G. Lucas, how you doing? Like, I don't think the Brewer version is going to be the way to go for movement. Groover might be the worst version. Uh, it's very possible. <laughs> it's very possible. I could see Precision Strike or Dead Eye Ambush being the best. I think those are the most likely candidates for the best movement leader. Your sets of removal though, so does Precision Strike. But Precision Strike also gives you a short round. Makes your cards better in a short round, too. Many of ours have died, I think. If our limits to spin. Yes, you! Have you made your offer? Yeah, I haven't tried the Symbiosis variant yet, but I could see it working, too. Cool. He venerates not the fire! Okay, deck. I would like to draw my combo cards. Circus work for the last two days. Is anyone? Uh, I played a list last night. Let me see if I have the link anywhere. I don't think I do. After this game, I can try to get you the list. I just not want to spend day. I guess I can just kick that mutated hand. I want a czar, I want Roland. Okay. I haven't heard anyone talk about Cyberpunk at all since release. <laughs> I imagine release was disappointing in that case. Again, again. Or maybe everyone's just busy playing it. I guess that's possible too. Oh, I've not heard anyone talk about it. People in my chat haven't really talked about it. No one in my Discord's mentioned it. I guess that's the extent of my social interaction. Oh, this is a fucking tribute card. <laughs> I guess I need to get it out of my hand. The hype baffling? Well, why would the hype be baffling? I'm not surprised that it's hype, especially in this community. Rome will be mine. Look 
like movement ST? No, why why would you think it's movement ST? Playing it windowed and watching the stream 10 out of 10. Ooh, okay. Oh, Spira playing it. Wow, Spira put down the Gwent expansion to play Cyberpunk. How did his uh, viewership go with it? Okay, so I'm out of tributes, right? I can play this. Have you heard? I make dreams come true. 200. Uh, yeah, okay. We're playing Gwent for the foreseeable future, chat. <laughs> Gwent for the foreseeable future. Oh, I didn't kill Louisa. I think that means we win. time is worse than variety stuff. Yeah, but I was hoping that like Cyberpunk on release would at least come close to rivaling Gwent. He has a Veil unit? Oh yeah, he does. It's probably not okay. We'll see. Was good. Not really. Rayla is really expensive and doesn't help win round one. Removal. Uh, so my tribute here is free. I'm getting one, two, three, four coins. I guess spending on this is irrelevant. Wait. No. Because I can move the poison away. So we're doing this. First tribute's free. And I think I just kill the Mad Keon right now. So that he can't click it. As long as there's no Squirrel, we win. I think. That's irrelevant. I think he's devotion. Maybe. Eggmund? I don't know why you think Eggmund matters. Eggmund is very far from mattering. Your opponent needs so many Veil points. Or er, wait. Is this the list? One of those two. Those are the same deck. Wait. That? One of those two is the list. Uh, I want two of these against Enslave. Enslave is scary. Enslave's got a lot of control. I don't need this round one. I don't need you round one. Need 
alert round one. I'm scared the mole salamander though, because I might just never find it again against Nilfgaard. I hate it, but whatever. Mm. That would be why I hate it. I'll have last play, but at least I'll get a long round if he passes. He has invo too. Yeah, it was just over from the beginning. Okay. Yeah, this deck doesn't beat this card. I don't think there's anything I can do about it. I have to go taller, I don't win round one. Just hope they don't draw it in round one. You're dead. Well, so much for not losing. We didn't lose a mosaic, though. Don't need you. pieces in hand. Let's kick the less critical combo pieces. Does Roland count as a less critical combo piece? We don't have a Kiki. Let's get on Saul. Disagree. There's been a lot of stuff I've had fun with this expansion. You just gotta experiment around. The Salamander deck's doing pretty well. I had fun with a uh, Witcher Skellige last night. Want to revisit that? There's like a lot of stuff in Monsters that I want to try too. Just haven't gotten around to it yet. I tried Kostje. Not really. I played a, a Gurney list with it around. I played a Kostje, but it wasn't great. Have you made your offering? And gins. He venerates not the fire. We're goofy. Yeah. Yeah, I work for the 
the movement deck doesn't look unbeatable. I don't know. Like, I've been beating it with Mimi decks. I don't really know what the concern is with it. Like, the nice thing about this is ex this expansion is it's not clear what the line between, like, a deck that's actually good and what a deck that's a meme is. In previous expansions, it was usually pretty obvious, like, what they pushed and what they didn't. But they've pushed a lot of weird mechanics with expansion to the point where they might actually just be good decks. Style. I just took Zodia. We were beating movement with the, the Skellige deck last night. We were beating movement with the, the Nilfgaard deck. You have a way to suit them. There's a Neuromancy. The big difficult part is playing is uh, winning round one. Ram is net decking it? Sure, just make sure that your deck is playable and can actually beat the, the mediocre net decks and you'll be fine. Does he have like a Yurden or some shit? How is he doing this in one? He does have a Yurden, okay. Well. That's not good. No way he pushes. I believe. I believe. He's pushing. Rip. more binary uh probably but a lot of that has to do with people like not knowing what's good it's possible that the good decks are able to just like play enough answers to enough different things that matchups aren't super binary but right now everyone's over adjusting to things like people are playing decks they're like all in the vi when it's probably not necessary they don't need to be playing as many anti vi cards to be good in that matchup Us. Best counter to it. Uh, there's a lot of ways that you can pretty easily beat it. If you play like Goliath plus Heat Wave and an Overwhelming Hunger deck, you'll probably just win. Uh. Nilfgaard can do a bunch of shit to it. They can, like, Ivar it in round one, kill consumers, make things really awkward. Why? What does it do? Uh, whenever it dies, it shuffles back into your deck and gets strengthened by three. So you consume it. And keep growing it, that eventually gets to like 20 30 points. Draw that bandana 
Can renew like the Saul in round three. You hurt my girls. I'll rip you up. Is that clear? So we win? So that has no short round, right? And we're a card up, and we have hidden cash. I thought I was losing when he played Yerden. <laughs> Did he have a plan in that game? Makes you build usually have both bad long rounds and bad short rounds. How do you not kill all of your units? Salamander Abomination. You can also give Veil with the, uh, the crime. But Abomination just naturally doesn't die. You also have Roderick. Um, what do I want least in round one? Rockland. I'll win round one. Pumpkin? Nah, it's Lord of Pumpkins. I think I like kicking these. Does shooting ever feel like a job? Yeah, from time to time. Like a couple months leading up to the expansion, definitely did. Stolen mutagen, such a pog champ card. Or pog you card. We win. Wait. Oh wait, why did my Oh, I thought he was conceding because the menu went away. Oh that was weird. This deck fair against bleeding. We just got bled by movement last game and won pretty handily. Usually it's pretty bad. Depends what they're playing though. Like, this deck's pretty bad against Nilfgaard. I don't think it has a way to not play into Ivar. Hey, 
Hey, Mr. Crazy Monkey. So I'm going to continue having absolutely no fear and jamming all of my engines. Respect the in a little bit, putting this melee. Is Yuridin meta? I wouldn't say it's meta, but it is a thing people play. You occasionally see a Yuridin. About as many as last season, really. I'd rather wait until my opponent's on 5 to pass, but we could. Like, if you win round 1, I think the game's just over here. What do I want to lock up last play? Played Assimilate yet? Uh, a little bit? Not a good list. Felt pretty pog. What were you playing with it? What new stuff? So I'm on 8 cards. I can play a Nero just to get coins. Yeah, I was playing Angolim too. I kept queuing into people that weren't playing any artifacts and got kind of mad. But Angolim theoretically seems nuts. Once people realize they should all be playing their locations. Yeah, Sneelin was talking about a list with Iteran. I don't know. It's cute. <laughs> SK with I can't imagine playing SK without location. That seems insane. That card's so good. Okay, so I don't get Defender. That could be a problem. Let's renew for Salamander. Your favorite card from each faction. Not off the top of my head. Uh, it's definitely Salamander for Syndicate. Uh, Monsters is probably Chimera. I wouldn't call myself a Salamander Worshipper, but this deck is a really cool deck building puzzle. How are your Salamander Brews coming along, Red Dream? Don't we auto lose? No. How would we auto lose? Until he plays a Veiled Unit, none of this matters. Decks aren't bad, they all have weaknesses. Yeah. I mean, I think that's just going to happen, right? It's just about... It'll just be like a metagame thing. You decide which weaknesses are acceptable based on what decks people are playing. Who is it you believe stands before you? I'm a count, damn it. Yeah, we kill our Salamander with location. We need a lot of veils. You usually have like 40 points left over. NG's pretty impossible though, yeah? Tried Veil with the NR Griffin Witchers. No, I want to, but I haven't gotten around to it yet.
I'm gonna kill Salamander location. I can also fist deck it. I think this might be a fist deck Salamander game. Because I might need the coins. We'll have to see. Hey, Trisbor. It's a little bit of work. Louisa does it by itself, and Roland does it by itself, but they both have to live a turn. Getting his strike for this. He's not boosting his veil unit. That's pretty pog. So I have Roland living. That's weird. Okay. <laughs> you played the Salamander. Nah, you already played a Seat Wave. What am I worried about? this deck doing? We lost one game so far to Nilfgaard. We've beaten everything else. Damn it. That's a Yerden. He's still not boosting his Vale unit. Tilted. We win. Oh, I. <laughs> I was like, wait, where's my salamander? <laughs> I don't think it matters if he boosted the Veiled unit, like, he didn't have that many points on his Visigoda. If he does that plus Uprising, I don't know, but we have a lot of points. <laughs> 